my cow. Here's the raised bed this year. That spinach. It's regular spinach, but it's kind of bitter and grows kind of crazy. But that's my cilantro. I've used it a couple of times. These are orange bell peppers. Basil, of course. Oregano. This, these are my lettuces. I have four rows. I have two rows of this baby spinach because it grows extremely slow. This one is going to seed. But it's going to seed. And I'm going to let it. But really, these grow so slow that butter crisp or something like that. That's my Swiss chard. I have a couple more over here. My onions I've been using. And this is two more rows of the baby spinach that takes eternity to grow. But either way, I, I really like this because it's crisp and um, tastes really light in salads. There's some backup lettuce for when my rows. Now these are my lemons. These have new buds coming in all over, which I'm really glad about. But in the meantime, I wish that these lemons would grow. They are taking their time getting bigger. There are three here. Pretty big, but they're not even turning yellow. But I didn't. I don't feel like I have enough of both because I use them regularly in cooking. So what I'm gonna, what I did was to plant some inside. Plus, it would help it. Uh, stand up as it crawled up the trellis. So what I'm going to do next year is plant my inside green of the peas. Then as they produce, I can start an outside ring. Uh, so that if and when they turn yellow like this, it won't be a big deal to just cut those plants and uh, start harvesting the ones that will then be on the outside. Does that make sense? There are a million tomatoes growing on each of these trees. This is supposed to be Roma, which these look like fine about. These don't quite look like Romas. These look like they're gonna be regular tomatoes. But there are some Roma looking ones on there. Anyway, these are all cherry tomatoes. So I hope to be picking and eating these like mad because they're all over the place. These are growing beautifully. Look how beautiful that is. But they have to go because they taste like earwax. It's a butter crunch of lettuce. And there's nothing buttery about the air crunch. Tastes like earwax. Yes, earwax. I have harvested all these, a couple, not all these, but the ones ready, the harvestable ones, a couple of times already. Raised bed. I have spinach back here, which had gotten eaten up pretty bad, but I'm gonna let this grow seeds. I'm gonna let one of each of my favorite lettuces grow to seed now. Cilantro, going to seed, I mean, well, ooh, shit. See that guy? I have a new relationship with y'all jackets. I don't have to zoom in, I'm literally that close. <laughs> okay. But anyway, we respect them. I know I need them for me to have my seeds. So, he can um, enjoy. 
but this is my basil. I'm keeping an eye on it. Ooh, ooh, stay back. Okay. And this is my bell pepper. I actually topped it off so that it can grow shorter. My oregano, which I recently harvested for the pasta sauce that I've made. I don't know if I posted the video by now. Probably not. My uh, Swiss chard. Ooh. Ooh, okay, buddy. Okay, you. Got, I'm gonna kill you in a minute. I'm gonna kill you right in front of you too. Okay, he back. Okay, now profess to be this creature loving individual, but I'm telling you, I will kill you right on YouTube. Okay, there's my Swiss chard. I'm apparently not going to get very close because. These bad boys are um, pollinating shit like a mug. There are my green onions. And my lettuces have mostly been harvested. Okay, I'm going to do a quick one. These are scaredy cats. They've grown like mad dogs. I showed y'all those before inside. But they were only about this big. Now this whole thing is full. And these should have been the first one to be ready. But they're, it seemed to... I don't know what they're doing. Only one of them got a little blush and the biggest one hasn't even started turning yellow. So we'll see what the deal yo. After a while, of course, but I'm taking them in. Oh, you can see where the beetles got started on them. But that didn't happen. Yes, I took my pesticide and saturated those leaves. I made sure it was safe for vegetables, but or allegedly safe for vegetables. But I drenched that bad boy whatever these are another, another batch of peas that I have coming I'm only doing snow peas now so I don't have any shelling to do my huge I'm gonna have to stem, stem back on this this is uh, probably four and a half maybe just four feet tall and I have you can see all kinds of tomatoes that I've been getting from them. All kinds. They're everywhere. Almost look like grapes. This is the Roma tomato. I actually haven't had a red Roma yet. Oh no, correction. I had three of them, but they had this bottom rot thing going on that this one seems to have. I need to take that out that one seems to have where it turned red but it was like all rotted on the bottom like that so i've had to throw let me take that off right now come on yeah so i've had to toss um a few of these but I know there are some that are unaffected, so it'll be fine. Oh, and my other lettuce, which is tall, as you can see, because I've harvested it a jillion times as well. Okay. Because that's what I call a breakfast of champions. Delicious.